Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to style your Omega 4 site without using SAS. And now I'm going to preface this video with saying uh, this is the only video I'm going to do without using SAS because I strongly believe, and I'm sure the creators of Omega would agree, that SAS is how this um, this theme and sub theme are meant to be used. Uh, and and like I've stated before, it's not a huge learning curve. It's not even a medium sized learning curve. It's a small learning curve. And once you learn it, you're going to be happy you did. So if you're really stubborn and you don't want to learn SAS and you just want to use CSS, you can still do that. I might recommend maybe using other frameworks, but you can still do that. And here's how. Basically, if we come to our, our theme.info site, you'll see that our theme, just like any other Drupal theme, is really just looking for these style sheets. And in fact, if we didn't want to use this Omega hacks and Omega no query, um, the Omega no query is generated by SAS, we could actually get rid of these like that. And of course, you'd want to save and clear your cache. And then it's only going to be looking at this Omega styles. And then, of course, you're probably going to want to keep normalize. Um, and in that case, you could delete this whole SAS folder. You could just straight up delete it. And in the CSS, you could delete everything but normalize in styles. Here's your styles.css, and you could get going. I mean, if we type in background, uh, I mean, if we just do like body, um, background, and make this blue, and let's save this. If we do that, we refresh our page, the background's blue. So this site is still looking for this uh, CSS file. But at that point, what's the real point of using Omega? Because really we have our regions and stuff like that. And you could say, you know, maybe you want to use Omega for its um, for its nice, you know, semantic code. It, the, the way it gives your regions and stuff classes. Um, I mean, maybe that's something that you like and maybe you want to keep using Omega like that. Uh, but there's no way to control your regions in the administrative interface anyways. So if you don't want to use SAS and you like to use the administrative interface to do your grid settings, use Omega 3. And that and that's really there uh, all there is to it. But if you're interested in learning SAS or you know SAS or you've used something like Less um, or Stylus or something like that before, um, then Omega 4 SAS is the way to go. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to use, uh, how to start setting up your project to be able to use SAS and all of the great tools, uh, such as like Drush Guard and stuff like that, that Omega 4 has to offer. So if you want to use just plain CSS, go to town, start writing your CSS in the styles, and it's going to take care of it like any other Drupal sub theme. If you want to add a grid, you're going to have to add a grid system yourself, like uh, maybe something like Skeleton or maybe Bootstrap's grid framework, um, because the grid frameworks in Omega this time are done with SAS. So like I said, we're going to get into that now. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up your project for SAS. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Listeners are thinking, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks and bye.